I'm doing another language challenge. Hi, my name is Madison and a couple months ago, the end of 2022, I took on a bit of a language learning challenge, very much so inspired by the man, the legend, Steve Kaufman. I did not learn my language as well as he did. Korean, I believe, is what he did for his 90, his original 90 day challenge. Um, I didn't do I didn't do well with mine at all and it kind of made me hate the language. So why am I doing another one with another language? I have this really lofty, ambitious goal. <sighs> by the uh, by like July, June of next year, I want to take a proficiency exam in ASL and pass like the highest level aka I want to technically be fluent and to do that I actually have to study. So quarter one was a mess. I have a wrap up video on that and a quarter two video you should actually go watch by the way to see my goals for that. And I wanted to actually jumpstart the ASL learning. I've learned so much more than I knew several years ago when I first learned the language. I know a lot more now but I'm not conversationally fluent. I would say I'm A2 in ASL and by the end of this 30 days I want to hit B1. Mm-hmm. 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 I know. I know. I don't know if it's possible but we're gonna do our best. If Once I hit B1 then the intermediate plateau can hit so we're not there yet. There's no chance of that. So yeah, it's a lofty goal but I actually do have a very lovely resource. It's Bill. It's Bill Vicar's Life Print. As actually, I think his actual name is Life Print, but his name on YouTube is Bill Vicar's. I love him. Mwah. I love him. I love his lessons. So the goal is to do 30 give or take lessons in his uh, ASL lesson course. I have a couple other videos I want to watch on sentence structure. <laughs> And, um, yeah, if I can do that, well, and then do a lesson of Bill Vicar's, that would be great. But I am a college student, a part-time library assistant, and a YouTuber. So, yeah, to say I have no free time is not an understatement. Anyway, um, that's kind of the plan. We're going to try another language learning challenge. I want to do one at the end of the year for another language in a different way. And so, okay, let's address the elephant in the room. And once again, fail the language challenge. So what did I learn? Not ASL obviously. Um, what I did learn is that I need to stop setting these challenges because I don't succeed at them. And it's funny because if I can't, granted I'm not paying for this because there's a possibility that I might try Lingo to Sprint later this year. So if I can't do them, <laughs> a challenge like this, then I might not want to do the Lingo to. Lingo is $800 more expensive or free, but I don't know. We'll see how I feel about that later on. But I did the challenge. Or, or, I, or I didn't do the challenge. But it is now May 17th. It is one day after my six month anniversary and I want to get this video posted so that I can do my six month video of ASL in ASL. I did not get to do that with Swedish. I promise I'm going to do a video where I talk in Swedish soon. But the next video will be me speaking, signing, ASL. So what do we want to talk about? How do we reflect on something that I didn't even do? Um, let's reflect on life, I guess, because life sucked. Life was terrible in April. College is terrible. I hate it. Um, so that's why I didn't do any ASL. I didn't do any language study in the month of April or May so far, so far, so far, but I just started my new class and that's kind of what this Swedish video will be on. Um, and I'm going to study languages more. I'm going to get a routine. I need to be consistent. Like, I can't talk about consistency and how important it is to be consistent with people in my real life on other subjects and topics if I can't even be consistent with something that I really like, which is language learning. I want to be the polyglot of my workplace, as my coworker Erica dubbed it, because um, that, that would be what I would be, and she knows that word. And so the fact that she referred to me as a future inspiring polyglot, 
she knows exactly where to hit me to get my heart to just be like, ah. Anyway, yeah, I don't have a lot to reflect because I didn't do anything. I've talked to Merle the past, like, every time I see him, I've talked to Merle. I gave him cookies for his birthday. We had a really confusing conversation where he was thanking me for cookies. And I was like, I haven't given you the cookies yet, Merle. Where did you get the cookies? Nobody at work had made cookies for him, so he just ate random cookies, but okay. Um, so, yeah. That was a fun conversation. And I really do love learning ASL. I, that's why I want to build consistency into it, is so that I can get, like, fluid. Because I, I don't like learning ASL. Like, with Swedish, I like learning Swedish. I enjoy the process of learning it. And ASL, I don't enjoy the process of learning ASL, but instead I enjoy the process of being able to use it. So that's kind of what I struggle with. I don't mind studying Swedish because I like studying Swedish. American Sign Language, on the other hand, I do struggle to sit down and study because I get bored with it. Because I just want to be able to sign and use. So maybe my, the most effective way for me to learn sign language would be through a tutor and not self-taught even though I have Bill the cars and he is he has his, like he has actual tutor sessions posted to his YouTube channel they're not interactive so I always have these questions and I want to use the sentences different than how the person who was in the video is using them but I can't because they're one-sided conversations so that is something that I think I have realized when it comes to studying ASL. So I ran out of space on my camera. So for the final clip, you get my phone. I promise not to look at myself, but at the very tiny little itty bitty camera. But overall, I did not do 30 days of ASL. I am nowhere near doing all of the video lessons from Bill the Cars that I wanted to do for ASL. But even though I failed the challenge, I'm still taking something away from it. I still learned something about myself that I didn't know before the challenge. Before the challenge, I had no inkling as to why I, I had a hard time getting myself to study ASL. But now as I leave the challenge, okay, I've already left the challenge, as I reflect back on the gateway out of the challenge, let's use that, I realize that I need to try a different approach because when talking to Merle is one of the highlights, one of the absolute highlights of my day, of my week, of my entire ASL learning journey, I look forward to speaking with Merle so much. So I think I need I need somebody to talk to and to use my sign language and to practice it with, to build my ASL personality. Because I don't know who my ASL personality is. I would love to meet her. She she seems like a cool one, but I just I don't I just the way I like to study it does it doesn't work the best.